Hey, it's Corey from Mahalo.com. You're about to see some screen tests of people who applied to be hosts for our education channel. This is your chance to comment and tell us who you'd like to see become our new host. If you live in the LA area and think you could do a better job, we encourage you to please submit a response video and tell us why you could be the next great host of Mahalo.com. We really appreciate your feedback. Um, my name is Mary Poffenroth and I am an environmental biologist. I teach at the university level. I teach at San Jose State University as well as De Anza College. And I teach mostly environmental biology as well as a little bit of human biology. My background is as a conservation biologist, so I'm very much about science, biology, and the environment, and of course education and inspiring others to act upon um, the kind of needs of our environment right now. Welcome to Mahalo.com, I'm Mary Poffenroth, and today I'm going to be discussing the greenhouse effect. You see, the greenhouse effect is a completely natural process. In fact, without it, our planet would be too cold to live on. The greenhouse effect works kind of like your car when it's parked outside on a hot sunny day. The solar rays beat into your car, and because it's closed, it gets trapped in there. And all that heat just sits in there until you come along, open the door, get in, and it feels like an oven. Up in the atmosphere, greenhouse gases act like the glass in your car. Greenhouse gases are things like carbon dioxide, methane, even water vapor is considered a greenhouse gas. And the greenhouse gases allow the solar radiation to come in, but they trap some of that solar radiation and heat on our planet. So, we absolutely need some greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The problem comes when we have too many greenhouse gases. Just like you can have too many blankets on a cold winter's night, you can have too many greenhouse gases like methane and carbon dioxide up in the atmosphere. This leads to things like overall global temperature rise as well as climate change. Well, click around, find out some more on Mahalo.com. Thanks for joining us. I've done uh, some on-camera work. I created a um, short film that's actually in um, a festival, well, coming up for a festival right now, as well as received two honorable mentions at the um, International Wildlife Film Festival um, earlier this year. Um, well, me personally, because in addition to wanting um, to use media as a way to not only entertain, but also do some deceptively educational type of things. Um, you know, I can write my own scripts, I write all my own scripts, and because I'm a biologist, I'm really bringing it from a place of experience. And I've been a biologist for over 11 years, and it's something that is, I'm really passionate about. It's something that is very close to my heart, both you know, biology and education, and kind of bringing those two things together in a form of media, I think would kind of you know, make me a little bit different than maybe someone that was just focused on hosting. All right, so I'm Sapphire Jones. Um, I actually used to be an English teacher for several years for middle school and high school. And um, so I have a background in uh, education and got my BA in English as well as my master's in education. As an education host, um, I actually did some a lot of modeling and acting in uh, college, just on the side as my own passion. So I kind of have that, that aspect of it as well. Um, and I think I have a lot of energy, and um, I you know, like to bring that into the classroom with my kids as well. So um, I just pulled some of the stuff that I use in my actual classroom for the lesson that I'll be sharing today. Welcome to Mahalo.com. This is Sapphire here, and today I'll be talking about verbs, specifically linking verbs and helping verbs. Now, you all probably are very familiar with action verbs because that's what usually gets covered and people remember a lot. So if you're running or walking, that would be an action verb, something that you're physically doing. So what I wanted to do was teach you a little trick in order to remember your linking verbs. And a lot of people remember things to songs, so you can just think back to when you were younger, you learned your ABCs to a song because that's a, a easier way to remember them. So I'm just gonna put my linking verbs together for you in a little song here, so. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, has, have, had, do, does, did, can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, must, been. Now, of course, you also want to uh, chunk those together, so you're not going to learn all of them all at once, but try one line at each time. That's how we remember phone numbers as well. So we do the, the 562 or maybe the first part of the area code. So chunking is a way to help remember those, and as well as songs. Thank you for checking us out here at Mahalo.com. Hope to see you back soon.